Hershey, Hershey, Hershey. Ever since the opening of Hershey's Chocolate Town at Hershey Park in the year 2020, I've been begging for the park to do one thing and it still hasn't happened yet. Whatever happened, well, let's talk about it. Before we get into the video, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you love Hershey Park, if you're visiting the park, or just want to know updates, information, rankings, countdowns, literally anything Hershey Park related, this is your number one place. So if you could hit that subscribe button, like the video, drop a comment down below, that would go a long, long way in helping me out. When Hershey's Chocolate Town was announced in 2020, it was one of the biggest undertakings Hershey Park has ever done. Over $100 plus million dollars was poured into this thing, a brand new amazing B&M Hyper, a new marred entrance, huge undertaking, and by, with no doubt of the imagination, a massive success for the park. With this being the, the first part of the park you walk in when you enter, this part of the park is supposed to leave a lasting impression on any guest, and it certainly does that when this region of the park, Hershey's Chocolate Town, opened. It opened with two attractions, Candemonium and the Carousel. They moved it from Founders Way to Chocolate Town, which made a lot of sense. The Carousel's one of the most vintage and classic amusement rides that exists, so having that first thing that you see when you walk into the park makes a lot of sense. But many thought that over the years, Hershey would start investing more into this area, and now the year's 2024, nearly almost, almost half a century has passed since Chocolate Town has opened. That just is absolutely crazy to think about. And we still only have two attractions. Now, sure, you can say that Hershey invested in other parts of the park, which they did. They updated Wildcat, turned that into Wildcat's Revenge, which was a great addition. They introduced Dark Knights. They made lots of other changes that kind of sprayed away from Chocolate Town. But I think it's about time that Hershey Park invests in Chocolate Town. They really need that third major pillar of attraction. And the thing is, they have so much room to do it. Hershey's Chocolate Town just has so much land that's not being used at all. It drives me crazy. The possibilities are absolutely endless. To be super specific, there's even a certain spot of land that I'd like this attraction to be in. It was a recently flattened out area of land that has a circular blueprint. It's literally begging for a ride or attraction to be placed there. I've been talking about this piece of land for years, years on end. I think even an old vlog I talked about this ride, or this land that should be turned into a ride. Take a look at this. All right, so we've now walked over here into this other main plaza. It's where, where the bus circle is by Hershey Thomas Halfway. Look at this. This is undoubtedly a recently flattened area. And I'm not sure what this could possibly be for, but if you're asking me, this is either a new flat ride or a new coaster. This has been recently flying, it was with not like this earlier. It doesn't even have to be something major like a brand new roller coaster. I think a flat ride would actually be a much better fit since I think Candemonium should still be the star attraction of Candemonium. I think something like a star flyer would be a great fit, or even something smaller scale like something like Kaleidoscope at Dorney Park. I really love that ride and Hershey could implement something similar. I think that would be a great fit. It doesn't really matter what they want to do. If they want to make it a little kitty area, add a roller coaster, add a flat ride, high throwing, low throwing, I don't care. I would just like something to be here, something that guests can enjoy. Actually, the more I'm thinking about that kaleidoscope idea, I'm actually starting to fall in love with a little bit. Each branch of cars could be its own like Hershey's product to keep the Hershey's Chocolate Town theming. Like think kaleidoscope at Dorney Park, I'll have footage playing in the background, and one set of cars can be Twizzlers, another set of car can be Jolly Ranchers, another set of car can be Hershey Bars, Reese's Pieces, it doesn't matter, you get the idea. Now, would Hershey do that? I'm not sure, since Dorney Park already has that, and that's a direct competitor of Hershey. They might want to go with something that Dorney Park doesn't have, but now I'm just rambling, I just want something to be here, you get the point. More than anything though, I'd love to hear what you guys think. Do you guys think Hershey's Chocolate Town should add a new attraction? Should it be in this plot of land that I'm scheming? What do you think they should add? I'd love to hear your ideas in the comments down below, because quite frankly, I know for a fact that you guys can come up with much better ideas than I can. But that's about all I got for this video. It's the off season. This is the time to speculate about what Hershey Park can add in future season. And it's always fun to think about what new attractions could be coming to the sweetest place on earth. But that's all I have for this video. I'm the Hershey Addict. I bid you all farewell. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Hope to see you very soon at Chocolate Town, USA. Have a good one, guys. Peace.